some of you may have heard of him. <laughs> um, and he started the program because he said he wanted to help students to realize their potential and to become leaders in their community and throughout the world. So we do that currently through three core programs. First, our Powered by Service training. Powered by Service is when we go into a school, we have our students lead training, so it's peer to peer, and they go in and teach these students, eighth grade students, ninth grade students, about leadership, about giving back to their community, how personal brand affects them, not just what they purchase. And so from there, we evaluate the students that we train, and what we're looking at is, when you walked in, did you know you were a leader? And when we left, did you realize you were a leader? And most of our students who we've trained said, wow, I realize I'm a leader now, and that young people can be a leader. You don't have to wait until you're an adult to be a leader. I have voice now. I can affect my community now. I don't have to wait until I'm an adult or, work, or in a career to affect my community. So that's one of our metrics for Power by Service. Our second core program is the New Look Leadership Academy. This is a four-year program where we work with students in high school, and we base all of our curriculum and all of our training with them on what we call our four pillars, which are talent, education, career, and service. We help these students find their spark. When we tell them their spark is that passion, that thing that lets you know that you have purpose beyond yourself here. And so they, wrap, they really grab hold to that concept. What is it that I enjoy doing? What is it that I'm gifted to do? And then from high, that whole purpose of the, uh, the academy is so that those students find education relevant and they go on to graduate high school. So 100% of our students who have participated in our New Look Leadership Academy have graduated high school. And that's something that we celebrate, right? And then college is our moguls and training program. And there, we are teaching our students those skills that may be outside of the classroom to help them be successful in college and to graduate. And so that's what we're looking at. We're looking at, are they leaders? Do they feel like they have voice? Do they graduate high school? And then do they graduate college and go on to career? About, um, you know, those partnerships are usually the bridges to give to the students. Uh, so can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. One thing about Usher's new look is that we realize we cannot do what we do in a silo. You know, it, it really takes a collaboration amongst other nonprofits, but certainly the private sector. So right now, our core markets are Atlanta, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Detroit, and LA. As we're looking to expand, and as we are expanding, one thing that we're doing is when we enter a city, we are starting out collaborating with the private sector. Who are the community champions? Who is looking to um, collaborate with nonprofits that are bringing the innovation that we're bringing? And that's really where we start. So we could not do it without our corporate sponsors. We could not do it. That's a, a huge base of our volunteers. That's where we gain a lot of what we expose our students to. So you talk about those examples. Our students have the opportunity to sit at the table with John Rice from GE and hear some of those things that he's learned throughout his career. Um, and so that's a huge part of it, showing our students examples, collaborating with our private, the private sector and bringing their resources to what it is that we do and, and do well. And that makes it even a more robust program for our students.